Did you know that kidney disease affects more than 1 in 7 adults in the U.S.? That's about 37 million people, yet most don't even realize they have it. Your kidneys silently work around the clock, filtering nearly 50 gallons of blood every single day to remove waste and keep your body in balance. But what if I told you that some of the most common medications, ones you might be taking right now, could be silently damaging your kidneys? From everyday pain relievers to heartburn meds and even certain antibiotics, these drugs can increase your risk of kidney disease, kidney stones, or even kidney failure if not used correctly. The scary part? Many of these side effects go unnoticed until it's too late. In today's video, we're breaking down 8 medications that can harm your kidneys, the science behind how they affect your body, and what you can do to protect your kidney health while still getting the treatment you need. Make sure you stick around until the end, because I'll also share some simple but crucial tips to keep your kidneys strong and healthy for life. Let's dive in. 1. PPIs, Heartburn Meds Proton Pump Inhibitors, PPIs, such as omeprazole, lansoprazole, and esomeprazole, are widely used to treat acid reflux, GERD, and stomach ulcers by reducing stomach acid production, but what many people don't realize is that long-term use of these medications has been linked to serious kidney issues, including chronic kidney disease, CKD an acute interstitial nephritis, AIN, an inflammatory condition that can lead to permanent kidney damage if left untreated. Research suggests that prolonged use of PPIs can gradually impair kidney function, sometimes without noticeable symptoms until significant damage has already occurred, making it especially dangerous for individuals who rely on these drugs daily. While PPIs are generally safe when used short-term, the problem arises when people take them continuously for months or even years without medical supervision, often thinking they are harmless over-the-counter remedies. The good news is that there are safer alternatives, such as H2 blockers like famotidine, which can provide relief with a lower risk of kidney damage. If you're taking PPIs long-term, it's crucial to discuss with your doctor whether you still need them or if you can switch to a different treatment approach, such as dietary changes, weight management, or intermittent use of antacids for mild symptoms. Additionally, if you experience any warning signs of kidney problems, like swelling, fatigue, or changes in urination, it's important to get your kidney function tested, especially if you have other risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, or a history of kidney disease. To minimize risks, take PPIs only as needed, at the lowest effective dose, and for the shortest duration possible. 2. Antibiotics Antibiotics are essential for fighting bacterial infections, but certain types, such as aminoglycosides, genomycin, tobramycin, vancomycin, and sulfa drugs, trimethoprimsulfamethoxazole, can be particularly harmful to your kidneys if not used carefully. These medications can cause acute kidney injury, AKI, by directly damaging the kidney's filtering units, leading to inflammation and impaired function. Aminoglycosides, often used for severe infections, accumulate in kidney cells and may cause toxic effects, especially in high doses or with prolonged use. Vancomycin, another powerful antibiotic, has been linked to dose-dependent kidney toxicity, meaning the higher the dose, the greater the risk of kidney damage. Sulfa drugs, commonly prescribed for urinary tract infections, can contribute to crystal formation in the kidneys, increasing the risk of kidney stones and blockages. The danger with these antibiotics is that kidney damage often occurs silently, without obvious symptoms until significant function is lost. If you experience warning signs like decreased urination, swelling, or unexplained fatigue, it's essential to get your kidney function checked, especially if you're taking these antibiotics regularly or at high doses. To minimize the risk, antibiotics should always be taken only when prescribed by a doctor, and it's crucial to stay well hydrated to help your kidneys flush out the medication effectively. If you have a pre-existing kidney condition, you should discuss alternative, kidney-friendly antibiotics with your doctor, as some medications may be adjusted to lower doses or replaced with safer options. 
While antibiotics are necessary for treating bacterial infections, overuse and improper use can lead to unintended harm, making it vital to take them responsibly. 3. Diuretics Diuretics, often referred to as water pills, such as furosemide, hydrochlorothiazide, and spironolactone, are commonly prescribed to manage conditions like high blood pressure, heart failure, and fluid retention, but while they help remove excess fluid from the body, they can also pose serious risks to kidney health if not used carefully. These medications work by increasing urine production, which can lower blood pressure and reduce swelling, but excessive urination can lead to dehydration and an imbalance of electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium, all of which are crucial for proper kidney function. When the body loses too much fluid too quickly, the kidneys may struggle to filter blood efficiently, potentially leading to acute kidney injury, AKI, or worsening chronic kidney disease, CKD, over time. Loop diuretics like furosemide, often used in heart failure patients, are particularly strong and can cause rapid fluid loss, putting extra strain on the kidneys, while thiazide diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide, used for high blood pressure, can cause a dangerous buildup of uric acid, increasing the risk of kidney stones and gout. Potassium-sparing diuretics like spironolactone, on the other hand, can cause too much potassium retention, leading to hyperkalemia, a condition that can be deadly if not monitored. To reduce the risk of kidney damage, it's crucial to stay properly hydrated and have regular blood tests to monitor kidney function and electrolyte levels. If you experience symptoms like dizziness, extreme thirst, confusion, muscle cramps, or reduced urination, these may be warning signs of dehydration or kidney stress, and you should consult your doctor immediately. Additionally, people with pre-existing kidney disease, diabetes, or those taking multiple medications that affect kidney function, should be especially cautious when using diuretics. If you need to take diuretics long-term, working closely with your doctor to adjust the dose based on your kidney health is essential. While diuretics can be life-saving for many conditions, using them responsibly and staying aware of their potential risks can help protect your kidneys from unnecessary harm while still benefiting from their intended effects. 4. NSAIDs Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, including ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin, are among the most commonly used medications for pain relief, inflammation, and fever reduction, but what many people don't realize is that frequent or long-term use of these drugs can seriously harm the kidneys. NSAIDs work by blocking enzymes called cyclooxygenases, COX-1 and COX-2, which help produce prostaglandins, compounds that maintain proper blood flow to the kidneys. When prostaglandin production is reduced, the blood vessels in the kidneys constrict, leading to decreased kidney filtration and function, which can cause acute kidney injury, AKI, especially in people who are dehydrated, have high blood pressure, heart disease, or pre-existing kidney conditions. Over time, continued NSAID use can contribute to chronic kidney disease, CKD, and, in severe cases, even kidney failure, requiring dialysis or a transplant. The risk is even higher in older adults and those taking other medications that impact kidney function, such as diuretics or ACE inhibitors. Many people assume NSAIDs are completely safe because they are available over the counter, but taking high doses or using them daily for weeks or months can be dangerous. If you frequently rely on NSAIDs for pain relief, it's important to consider safer alternatives, such as acetaminophen, Tylenol, which does not affect kidney function in the same way, or natural anti-inflammatory options like turmeric or omega-3 fatty acids. To minimize risk, always take NSAIDs at the lowest effective dose and for the shortest time necessary, and drink plenty of water to keep your kidneys functioning properly. If you have chronic pain or a condition that requires frequent NSAID use, talk to your doctor about alternative pain management strategies to protect your kidneys. 5. ACE Inhibitors and ARBs ACE inhibitors, such as lisinopril and enalapril, and ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers, like losartan and valsartan, are widely prescribed to treat high blood pressure, 
heart failure, and kidney disease, but while they help protect the heart and kidneys in many cases, they can also pose serious risks to kidney function if not used correctly. These medications work by relaxing blood vessels and reducing pressure on the heart, but they also decrease blood flow to the kidneys, which can lead to acute kidney injury, AKI, especially in people who are dehydrated, have low blood pressure, or already have kidney disease. One of the most significant concerns with ACE inhibitors and ARBs is their ability to increase potassium levels, hyperkalemia which can cause dangerous heart rhythm problems if potassium builds up too much in the blood. This risk is even higher in people taking potassium supplements, potassium-sparing diuretics, or NSAIDs, as these can further disrupt kidney function. Some people may experience a persistent dry cough with ACE inhibitors, which can be uncomfortable enough to require switching to an ARB but both drug classes require regular kidney function monitoring to ensure they are not causing harm. To minimize risks, doctors often start patients on low doses and gradually increase them while checking kidney function and potassium levels through blood tests. If you take these medications, it's essential to stay hydrated, avoid excessive potassium-rich foods like bananas and oranges unless advised otherwise, and get routine blood tests to monitor kidney health. If you notice symptoms like swelling, muscle weakness, irregular heartbeat, or significantly reduced urination, these could be warning signs of kidney stress or high potassium levels, and you should contact your doctor immediately. 6. Lithium Lithium is a powerful mood stabilizer commonly prescribed for bipolar disorder and severe depression, helping to control mood swings and prevent manic episodes but despite its effectiveness, long-term lithium use can be toxic to the kidneys if not carefully monitored. Lithium is processed and excreted through the kidneys, and over time, it can cause nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, NDI, a condition where the kidneys lose their ability to concentrate urine, leading to excessive thirst and frequent urination, which can result in chronic dehydration and further kidney damage. Additionally, lithium toxicity can occur if the drug builds up to dangerously high levels in the bloodstream, which is more likely if a person is dehydrated, taking NSAIDs, diuretics, or has reduced kidney function, as these factors can all affect how lithium is processed by the body. Chronic lithium use has been associated with progressive kidney disease, and in some cases, long-term users may develop chronic kidney disease, CKD increasing their risk of kidney failure. To prevent these complications, doctors closely monitor lithium levels in the blood through regular testing, ensuring they stay within a safe therapeutic range, as even small fluctuations can lead to toxicity or reduced effectiveness. If you take lithium, it's crucial to drink plenty of water to stay hydrated, avoid medications that interfere with kidney function unless prescribed and get routine kidney function tests to catch any signs of damage early. 7. Herbal Supplements Many people assume that herbal supplements are completely safe because they are natural, but what they don't realize is that some herbs can actually harm the kidneys, especially when taken in high doses or over long periods. Certain herbal products, including aristolochic acid, found in some weight loss and detox teas, licorice root, high-dose turmeric, and excessive vitamin C supplements have been linked to kidney inflammation, kidney stones, and even kidney failure. Aristolochic acid, in particular, is notorious for causing aristolochic acid nephropathy, AAN, a serious condition that leads to permanent kidney damage and an increased risk of kidney cancer, yet it is still found in some traditional medicine formulations. Licorice root commonly used in herbal teas and natural remedies, can cause low potassium levels, hypokalemia, and high blood pressure, both of which put stress on the kidneys. High doses of turmeric may increase oxalate levels in the urine, contributing to the formation of kidney stones, especially in those prone to stone formation. Similarly, excessive vitamin C supplementation, above 2,000 mg per day, can promote calcium oxalate kidney stones potentially leading to painful blockages and kidney damage. The biggest issue with herbal supplements is that they are not regulated like prescription medications, meaning they can contain contaminants, unlisted ingredients, 
or inconsistent dosages, further increasing the risk to kidney health. Additionally, certain detox or weight loss teas often contain diuretics or laxatives, which can lead to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, stressing the kidneys over time. To protect your kidney health, always consult a doctor before taking herbal supplements, especially if you have kidney disease, high blood pressure, or diabetes. Stick to recommended doses, avoid unverified miracle cures, and focus on getting nutrients from a balanced diet rather than excessive supplementation. While herbal remedies can offer health benefits when used correctly, being cautious and well-informed is the key to ensuring they support your health rather than damage your kidneys. Medications can be life-saving, but knowing the risks is the key to protecting your health. Here's how to keep your kidneys in top shape. Use medications only as prescribed. Stay hydrated to help your kidneys function properly. Monitor your kidney health with regular checkups. Talk to your doctor about safer alternatives. Your kidneys work hard for you, so take care of them. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more health tips, and share this with someone who needs to hear it. Stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.